Hi, my fellow crafters. Welcome to Abuela's Crafts. My name is Lou. And for those that are new here and on this channel, we focus on inexpensive and repurposing DIYs. I hope you enjoy my craft today. And with that being said, let's get on to crafting. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. So today's video is a gift for my granddaughter. She turns 15 next month, so I wanted to make her something special. So let's get crafting. Here we go. Our supplies. Uh, cutting shears, scissors, the brushes, our cute word, our black tags, our blocks, uh, the bamboo. Those are all about a um, Dollar Tree. And then our ribbons and our twine Dollar Tree as well. This D's letter alphabet is bought at um, Walmart uh, as well as all those paints and the jumbo sticks. Now we don't end up using the white, but the antique wax, we do. And of course our glue gun. Who can do anything without that? So our first step is uh, to apply the antique wax on our bamboo coasters. And uh, we do that on both of them. And then wipe it down. It's a beautiful color. I, I love this color. I have never used this, this antique wax before. And now I can't see myself not using it now, almost in every project if I can, if I, if I can all help it. Um, we need to make those bamboo coasters a little sturdier, so we're going to use our uh, bamboo, not the bamboo, the craft sticks to apply it to the bottom of the bamboo coasters. And the way we're going to do that is just put them side by side, apply their glue, and then set the coasters up on top. What I didn't want was the glue to seep through the cracks of the of those craft sticks. So um, that, this is why I did it this way. So um, this was not going to be part of this particular project. I wasn't going to do the back side. But um, at last minute, I was like, oh, why not? It looks beautiful. And it actually makes it look like it's all one piece. Like there's no glue putting it together or anything like that. It looks like all one piece. One piece of floor of this particular project, which is what it is. Um, then we end up uh, painting our cute word and both green and the purple color. Uh, the, and I added the metallics on both of these colors, but unfortunately they don't show up very well. And while coloring here, uh, let me just say thank you to my supporters uh, and, uh, and for joining me. Uh, and to those who are new, uh, I hope you uh, choose to subscribe and to hit the like button and comment say hi down at the down at the comment section and uh, let me know where you're from uh, as you saw there uh, I was having difficulties with my blue so if anybody knows how to dilute the color it's kind of hard I have to squeeze really hard, it's really thick. Here's the purple color that I was talking about. Uh, and again, I, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I did put some of that uh, metallic, uh, but you can't really tell. Uh, it, maybe you just need to use it by itself, I don't know. Anyway, um, I proceed to put these two words together. So I glue them together, but then I realized as I was picking it up and looking at it, you don't see me doing that, but that the, the word looked like one, the, the letters looked one behind the other, and that's not what I wanted. I wanted to kind of offset it so that it would make it look like a, um, 
shadow in the background. Uh, since the dark color is in the background. And what the unfortunate problem, yeah, problem here is that you don't see it. But it is. It almost gives it a, a shadow effect. Now, um, as the cute letter, I can set it up on top of the bamboo and it'll probably stay if I glued it down. But um, what I want is to also use the word stay. And so in order for that to, for me to put that stay of, of, of the sticker letters, I need something to hang them from. So I devised this little wall thing, this wall uh, of the jumbo sticks and uh, glue them together in order to have a place to, to hang my letters. I put them on these on these black tags, but as you can see there, they're a little too big for the wall. They they weren't gonna fall right, and so I decided to make them more like a outline of the letter to make them look more like an outline of the letter as opposed to sitting on just on top of the tag. Now here I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna where I'm gonna put them. I didn't want to put them straight across. I wanted them to look a little funkier, uh, a little bit more uh, youthful, so I glued them kind of cottywampus, kind of funky looking, um, and actually just like she is. She's a very goofy little girl, and so and she's not little anymore. She's obviously not, not a little girl, anymore. she's obviously already a, a teenager so I used the so my thoughts were okay so I can't glue this to the just on top of the the coasters because they're not gonna say it's not gonna stay up they needed some support so I decided to use these uh, the wood blocks to give the support on top it's not heavy it's the bottom part so, um, and that was not gonna allow it to stand up properly. So I used the blocks to help the wall stand up. And it worked, it worked beautifully. It's nice and sturdy, and look at that, stay cute. Oh, adorable. And this absolutely came out, came out adorable. You don't see it here, but I put a little flower at the, at the sea right there. So thank you for watching. Bye.